Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to draw out and explain the lung volumes and capacities graph. And in the process, I'm going to go through all these abbreviations, what they mean, and how to remember them. So this part of the graph just represents tidal volume. Tidal volume is your normal inhale in and normal exhale out. If after you take a normal tidal inhale, you inhale as much as you possibly can, that value is the inspiratory reserve volume. And then if you take the inspiratory reserve volume plus the tidal volume, that is equal to the inspiratory capacity. So if after you take a normal tidal inhale, you inhale as much as you possibly can, and that's the inspiratory reserve volume, after you take a normal tidal exhale, if you exhale as much as you possibly can, that is the expiratory reserve volume. However, even if you exhale as much as you possibly can, there's still going to be some air in your lungs because if there wasn't any air left in your lungs, your lungs would be collapsed. And that air that's remaining in the lungs is known as the residual volume. And the residual volume plus the expiratory reserve volume is the functional residual capacity. Another um, capacity we have, this is vital capacity. It's what I call movable air because your vital capacity is if you take your maximum inhale and then measure how much air you can forcibly exhale, that is the total amount of air that you can move in and out of your lungs. So you find that value by adding the inspiratory reserve volume plus the tidal volume and the expiratory reserve volume. So vital capacity takes everything into account except for the residual volume. But if we add in the residual volume, now we have the total lung capacity. So that's all of the air in your lungs. So when you're looking at this, um, you'll see some patterns. Um, anything that ends in volume is a set number, um, like tidal volume, 500 milliliters. But anything that ends in capacity is a value that you get by adding two or more of the volumes. Um, also, these numbers that I've thrown out there, different sources might give you different numbers or you might find different numbers for men and women or children. Um, so these are definitely not set numbers, obviously, because everybody has different size lungs, right? All right, well, that about wraps it up for lung volumes and capacities. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day and have fun learning.